Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys how to get to the first wildlife sanctuary in Pal World and what to do there. So the wildlife sanctuary is down at the bottom left of the map. You want to go to the Sea Breeze Archipelago and you want to get a flyer and fly across the water. Now Pal World has this unique ability where when your flyer runs out of stamina it will still be able to bring you across the water just a little bit slowly and you won't fall into the water and the mount won't knock you off of its back unlike other games that are a bit of a pain in the ass when it comes to this thing when you arrive at the sanctuary you're going to be going to a beach area which is pretty much the only part of the sanctuary that actually has any pals the area itself is actually kind of cool so if you want to have a look around it's nice to just to see the architecture or the destruction of the area, I should say. But in general, you're looking for the pals directly on the beach. And the pals here are quite unique. There's usually a, a different type of pal every time you come back. And the main one you're looking for is the unicorn, the terror version of the unicorn. I'll show you that in one moment. And you can get shinies here as well. Obviously, you can get Peng Kings as well, but I already have those. And there is the Terra that we're looking for. I uh, don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm just going to call it a Deer. Yeah, the Deer Terra. And if you can get a shiny one of those, it's even better. So this place, of course, is protected. And it's a crime to be here, and it's a crime to catch pounds here which makes absolutely no difference. If you catch the pals here, you will not get in trouble as long as you don't capture or attack any of the humans. So in typical pal world fashion, it doesn't matter if you misbehave. So misbehave all you want. Just try not to lose your mount to get you back to the mainland. Otherwise it's gonna be a pain in the ass trying to get you and your stuff back to your base. You can probably try and put down a base spawner here as well i've never actually tried to put a base here but you might be able to do that and use that as a teleporter if you get stuck but you should be fine i also like these elfidrans they're a cool little pal to be honest and i'm gonna make sure to catch as many of these on this island as i can as you can see on your screen criminal activity underway i'm attacking the pal and nothing's happening so you don't have any issues and I'll show you what happens when you do it in front of a human in a few moments as well. Just to prove that you are safe. Unless they patch it in the future. So if they have a newer patch where they do actually get you a wanted sign for capturing pals on these sanctuaries. Then obviously that was a change that the developers decided to make. But as of right now, you can do whatever you want. So take advantage of it while you have a chance, really. And... Let me know in the comment section if they have changed it at any point. You can also get other different uh, pals here like the Azerobes. And I have heard that you can get a Grizzbolt on one of these islands. It might not be this one closest to the base though because I've never actually seen a Grizzbolt here before. Um, if the unique pal on another one of these islands is a Grizzbolt and... The deer is the unique pal on this island. I wonder, are these islands mostly for electrical based pals? I mean, that's just a complete assumption. I don't know if it's actually true. So there's a human criminal activity on the way. As long as I don't shoot this infantry, I can just shoot this Elphidran and I'm not in trouble. No wanted sign. So I can catch as many of these in front of the humans as I want. Maybe if you stand right next to the humans, they get pissed off at you. I don't know. I haven't actually done that yet. I have no interest in having a one sign while I'm trying to catch a pal, but it is worth an experiment if you ever decide to do it yourself. At the end of the day though, just get in there, capture your pals, get out, and don't be worried about the criminal activity because in pal worlds, you're kind of supposed to misbehave anyway. So it makes no difference if you ask me. And when you come here, I usually try and bring hyper hyperspheres. You probably don't need hyperspheres for level 20 base pals, but it's a lot easier to catch them this way, so I usually use the best equipment that I can possibly get just to make this a little bit easier. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know what you think of it and let me know if you have any questions or comments of your own. I'll let you get to it so you can go and catch your own pounds at the Wildlife Sanctuary. 
Enjoy the rest of your day and ta-ta!